Lions Tour. Next game is the game against the Stormers. It's a uh, it's taken a bit of a turn. Has the old Lions Tour. Things kind of got real the other day when they played South Africa A, aka the Springboks in disguise. Um, yeah, it's the first loss of the tour up until this point. Kind of relatively comfortable wins, 28-10 over Japan, and then three very comfortable games, 56-40 and 54-7 at 71 31 uh, for the most part you know easily scoring more than 50 points and not conceding apart from that first half in that second sharks game a whole lot of points so um yeah warren gatland is talking up how good that result would have been for the british and irish lines they're now facing a stormers team i will put the squads in the description so you guys can have a look which has got some pretty familiar names for me also a few Kind of new ones. Obviously, the Stormers are missing some of their big guns who are off with the Springboks or South Africa A. Eh? And, um, yeah, but we'll go through some of these players, some of the predictions. And, uh, yeah, you guys can let me know your thoughts on how this one is going to go. Uh, for the Stormers, as I mentioned, they're without guys like Franz Malherba, Stephen Kitsoff. I mean, Colisi's already gone to the Sharks, so he was kind of. Not part of their setup anyway. I think like Imbonambi is also left for the Sharks and uh, into Benny's with the box. So Herschel Yankees, like they're without a lot of players. The Stormers, I think the organization proper has been kind of bleeding a few players for a wee while now. Financial things, I believe, is part of that. But again, I'm not as close to the scene as some of the locals. But um, yeah, they've gone with Lions, Kotza, and uh, Fushi in the front row. I don't really know anything about Lions or Kotza, uh, but Nithling Fushi has been around for a long time, kind of a steady as she goes. Uh, tight head, 28 years old, relatively young, uh, loose head and hooker, I believe. But remember, there's no Intobedi uh, and no Bongi Manabi anymore at the Stormers. That's why I mentioned like getting a wee bit down the pecking order. So maybe at scrum time, this is an area where the Lions look to really get on top. Uh, Fun Rain and Shikling are the locks. Interestingly, Fun Rain is captain. But Schickling is probably the guy I'm more excited about. He's, I think, in his mid-20s by this point in his career. But he's been around quite a while. Pretty athletic guy. He's well over two meters, or at least two or something. Uh, he's he's tall timber. Uh, I would have had him kind of there or thereabouts for uh, for Springboks duties if the likes of Snayman and Diaka are unavailable. Obviously, he's below them in the pecking order. But he's a really useful player. So I think he'll give the... Uh, the Lions guys a good test, if nothing else. Gaba, uh, Dutoy, and Roos are the 6, 7, and 8. Johan Dutoy is the guy at 7. He's the brother of Peter Steff. I guess kind of similar build, similar look. A uh, bit younger. Maybe not quite the, uh, the physicality of his older brother, but he's still a pretty useful player. I've seen him play in Super Rugby at least for a couple of years. Uh, Roos is only 21 years old and Gaba are um, 23, so those guys will certainly be fired up. But we have seen thus far the guys who are pretty inexperienced over the course of the 80, the Lions have been able to kind of tear them to bits uh, so far anyway. Um, a similar you guy at 9 with Sveal at 10. That's not a hugely inexperienced uh, 19 combo. Both of those guys have kind of been around the blocks, but neither of them, I mean, without wanting to do them a disservice, are like top draw kind of guys. I think both of these guys in their careers are semi kind of journeymen that have found gigs here and there. Masimla is pretty quick and Sveal is, uh, you know, a pretty safe pair of hands, if nothing else, but we'll see how they go. It's important to have Maybe an experienced 19 combo in a game like this. Uh, Dan Duplessis and Rikus Pretorius are the 12-13 combo. I'm probably in this whole lineup for the Stormers most excited to see Rikus Pretorius get a go. He's proper wheels, gas man, pretty big guy. Uh, not not like not like uh, real bulky, but quite tall and um, but rangy. He's got enough gas to, to get around the park. Also, Edville van der Merwe, if you're thinking. Colby-esque light winger, similar build, similar step on him. If he gets the ball, he could cause uh, he could cause problems. It's a pity he's not up against Duan van der Merwe because it'd be interesting to see if he's able to get around the big man. Uh, Sinatla, the Sevens legend, is there at 14, so a lot of you Sevens fans will be more than familiar with him. And uh, Sergio Peterson's at 15. I don't know that I've seen him play fullback before. I've certainly seen him play a lot of wing. 
So, yeah, Juan de Jong is on the bench, Zas is on the bench, but overall, I look at the Stormer squad and there's a few new names for me. As I mentioned, a lot of guys off with the, the Springboks. Um, there's a few young guys and uh, a couple of genuine talents, but again, I don't know as much about the depth of the squad as some of the Stormers fans locally in Cape Town will know. Um, but on paper, at least my brief look, it looks a wee bit ominous from what we've seen familiar stories against the Sharks and the Lions, where you get a bunch of young guys thrown at this Lions pack and um, they can't go the course of the 80. That being said, the Lions have made heaps of changes from the previous squad against the uh, South Africa A team. Uh, Sutherland gets a crack at loose head. Cowan Dickey's up from the bench at hooker and uh, Furlong is there at tight head. I can't help but wonder if Sutherland and Furlong... I mean, Wynn Jones put in a really good effort, uh, but he's had a stinger on his arm. If he's fit, I think he probably edges it, but maybe Sutherland if not. Sutherland looked all right, and uh, Furlong will certainly look to get stuck into this relatively young uh, Stormers front row. Beard and Hill is a pretty big uh, couple of locks for the, for the Lions. Uh, I think those would probably be physically the two biggest locks on tour. So they will be looking to maybe dominate if we're getting into kind of mall territory. I can see those guys adding a lot of weight to there. And if the Stormers try it, uh, I would expect either or both of those guys to be able to disrupt pretty well. Uh, Tyke Byrne starts this week after being on the bench one this week, uh, this game. Uh, Watson comes in for Curry. And Conan comes in for Falatel. So uh, I don't think you can really go too far wrong with the, uh, with the Lions back row, to be honest. All the guys have been pretty solid there's some positions where maybe things are looking a bit more hairy but i don't think the back row uh, is one of them price i mean it's hard to gauge with with results like that but price has maybe looked the best of the nines thus far but you do want to see him tested against a, a sterner opposition than what we've seen thus far whether this is that game not sure uh the first bit of maybe exciting news well, quite exciting is that marcus smith is going to get a crack at 10 late call up to the squad Good to see him get an actual game. Second bit of proper exciting news is that Robbie Henshaw is back fit and he's at 12. Honestly, he's been like in his position, the, the clear best guy, I think, all year. And I think he needs to be at 12 when the, the Lions take on the, the tests proper. Goodness me, I hope he's fit. I hope he stays fit. I hope he has a good game. I think he's going to be important. Um, Daly is there at 13. Daly will be really racking up the minutes. He's played a lot of minutes in this tour thus far, either from the bench or starting. I mean, he was on the bench in the last game against South Africa A, but had to come on pretty early when Liam Williams went off. Uh, Duan van der Merwe and Josh Adams are the wings. Adams has been on fire. And likewise, Duan been pretty good as well. Quick and big. And uh, Hoggy, after being having to isolate as one of the close contacts, uh, is finally back released to play and he is captain for this one that guy doesn't have a heap of luck during Lions tours does he but fingers crossed he has a good one uh the bench also has your other really bit of exciting news alan win jones is on the bench unbelievable how on earth is that guy back fit after buggering his shoulder only a few weeks ago that's honestly unbelievable unbelievable what is that guy made of how is he still human i don't know that he is that's madness. Uh, Warren Gatlin was asked in the press conference, uh, is he fit? And he kind of sarcastically said, no, he's not fit. That's why I picked him on the bench. But he's looking to try and get 20 minutes out of him. But he said he's been training with Wales and he's gone through kind of full contact sessions. If you've seen the press conference that Pivak's done prior to the Argentina game, he basically said the same things, that Alan Wynn has gone through two full contact training sessions, doing tackling, doing uh, lifting and being lifted and everything. And he's kind of come through fine. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sent him. So, amazing. Oh, God, I hope he's fit. I hope they're not bluffing. I hope he's genuinely fit and able and able to put in a shift. Uh, George, Mako, and Xander are the uh, front replacements. That's Vunipola and Fagerson, if you don't know who Mako and Xander are. Uh, Mako seems to be the only guy who's got a read on where the heck Cheslin Colby is going to go. So if he can get a scrummaging, right, maybe you need to play him and get him to mark up with Cheslin. Uh, Simmons seems destined to only be a substitute. He continues his role there. Uh, Davis, Harris, and Reese Zammett round out the rest of the subs. So, um, yeah. As I said, I do kind of fear this game is going to be similar to these ones. 
based on the squad that I have seen selected from the Stormers. Um, but I hope they can give the Lions a proper bloody nose at some point to um, to give these guys a bit of a test because I think we've seen from the South Africa A game that uh, at least in the initial period of the game having that kind of easy build up is maybe not the ideal prep but anyway we will see how things go uh, the bookies have got the British and Irish Lions by 36 points the rugby forecast algorithm says 18, so picking it to be a bit closer. But I would have a feeling that's more if the Storm has had the likes of Kitsov, Malherba, Mbonambi, and uh, you know all those other kind of Stormers first line players. With this Stormers lineup, I'm not as convinced, but I'll be happy to be proven wrong. Anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. How do you think this one's going to go? Who do you think is kind of locked in for a starting spot? And who do you think is still kind of putting their hand up? And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.